Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad to be here to talk about Nigerian Spy Goose. And of course, uh, thank you guys as always for joining back on the channel to catch the video. How's your day going? How was your weekend? I hope you had a great one. Thank you guys for joining back again. And as always, uh, Nigerian Spy Goose uh, impressed us. They made us proud over the weekend with the way that they performed for their club side. We saw a number of, play of players actually getting on the score sheet. Uh, we saw a number of them actually providing the assists and of course somewhere on, on the losing side the others were uh, you know on the on the winning side but of course uh, it was uh, overall a high high performance for our boys in their in their respective club side let me start with Victor Osimhen so Osimhen actually had a disappointing personal display for Napoli because of the fact that he actually lost the penalty uh in the 88 minutes, you know, was a chance for, for, for him to actually get the winner for Napoli against Juventus when they were playing a 1-1 uh, draw. It was a very, very crucial game. Tough match, of course, which is why you would expect the pressure to be very high, you know, to convert uh, from the spot kick at that crucial minute of the match. But of course, thank goodness that, you know, after he missed the penalty, he's player Raspodori was there to you know get the rebound into the net and of course uh you know napoli ended up winning that game uh two goals to one it was a really really important vital three points for them because uh remember they've been struggling really hard this season they've not really uh had their groove on uh they are nowhere close to the napoli of last season you know with a lot of teams that ha that have actually gone down uh, within their team, firing of coaches, a lot of structural changes and, and all of that, issues here and there. They have not really been the Napoli that we used to know. But of course, uh, you know, Osime showed up yesterday, even though you might argue that he didn't really have his best uh, display yesterday, but he was still very crucial to that Napoli's uh, win yesterday. They have now, uh, you know, uh, made it a little bit easier for uh, Ebeniza Akin Samiros in Milan to run away with with all the points at the first place uh, because Juventus were actually hoping to get that three point to be a little bit closer to Inter Milan who are currently first position and then Juventus are second trying to chase uh, Inter but there's still sort of like a mad point gap between these two but it was definitely an important victory for Osime and Napoli and I'm sure that they will be so glad about that victory uh, but of course, Osime will be disappointed in himself that he missed that penalty. But it's definitely a you know a chance, an opportunity to grow, and of course, be better for next time. Uh, leaving that, just let me let you know that Bright Ose Isame was also in a blistering form for his uh, club side Fenerbahce in the Turkish league. Uh, they actually played out uh, over the weekend against Hatale Hatale Spor and came out victorious. Two goals. Uh, uh, to the good for them that one and of course our man bright to see somewhere got the fir first goal for fenerbahce it was an absolute uh you know glorious display from from him and of course it's now he's now made it uh three goals this season and then four assists making it a good contribution of seven uh goal and assists which is very very important and very very impressive for uh, a defensive player and of course, they continue to keep the, their hopes of lifting the uh, the Turkish league alive uh, with this victory. Of course, they are now in uh, 73, 73 points, uh, very close to uh, Galatasaray, who are you know in the first position with seventy five points. Uh, it's going to be really exciting to see you know in the coming weeks how they try to dislodge uh, Galatasaray at that uh, helm. Uh, but moving on, guys, this is. This one is uh, a little bit disappointing. Moses Simon uh, actually played out in 90 minutes for his uh, club side Nantes over the weekend. Uh, they played against Mets at home, but they lost, uh, you know, two goals to nil. Uh, Moses actually doing what he does best, trying to create a lot of chances, trying to get the assist, possibly trying to get a goal. But none of this worked out for him he actually created three big chances but no one was there to convert it uh but again it was a disappointing outing for Moses simon they hope to 
you know come back stronger uh next week uh with a stronger performance on that one uh moving forward guys let me let you know that lukman was uh very very impressive uh, over the weekend he actually got a go for himself and you know it's, it's it's the first goal since he came back from afcon and actually the first time he's had to uh, start a match as well you know we've seen uh atlanta actually struggling uh, over the past couple of games but of course lukman was actually uh made to start that match over the weekend he made his mark known early on in the game within the first half he had the first goal uh for atlanta but it was a shame because they actually went on to lose that one uh 2-1 final score and and that man that we've talked about on this channel joshua zexe you know actually scoring for bologna scoring one of the goals penalty uh for bologna and of course uh you know it was a disappointing one for lukman i'm sure they would want to forget that memory and you know move on to uh next match and of course uh hope to win that one uh moving on guys let me let you know that joe aribo was in exquisite form for southampton as they played out a very crucial uh game over the weekend against birmingham uh, city it was a very very strong study encounter uh where we saw we actually saw seven goals in that game four three was it four three was the final score and aribo was the difference in that match he actually got the winning goal in the nine minute of the match which uh, you know is something absolutely fantastic to you know actually keep uh southampton's dreams alive of actually qualifying in uh, qualifying to the uh premiership next season they might actually make the playoff uh you know if they keep going like this because they're currently in the uh fourth position uh um and uh, uh eight points behind league leaders like lister city and of course what a performance it was for joe aribo and he got the goal that won them the match in the dead of the game and this is what we we've been saying about Niger our nigerian superhero players we we've just been seeing how how good they are on the ball how good they are going forward and actually scoring goals lots of uh you know of, of our players actually got on the score sheets today a number of them made an assist and you kind of wonder when you see them back in the national team they don't exactly become as productive going forward as they are you know with their club sites so what a great one for him we are so happy for him glad that he could you know make the difference for southampton team and of course well, we wish them all the best as they try to come back to the premiership moving on guys let me end with the gist about our own man frank the tank onyeka he was in absolute uh you know form yesterday uh not yesterday uh, on saturday actually uh you know as uh, his side brentford uh played out a 2-2 draw uh, with chelsea it was a match that they should have won they deserved to win they had so many balls hit the post uh, but in the end, they were so unfortunate not to get all three points in that one. Frank Onyeka providing the assist for uh, uh, Wisa Go. Wisa, lovely acrobatic finish, uh, you know. Uh, but of course, it was not meant to be. They couldn't get all three points for that one. But what a display was for Frank Onyeka, you know, actually providing an assist. He has been uh, a very important uh person in that team ever since he came back from the afghan before he went to afghan actually and now he's come back again and is you know you know just slot right into the rhythm and he's started to perform at at the highest level going forward defensively and everywhere you want him to play he's just rock solid in all areas all departments that he covers great one for him it was a disappointing uh you know outing because i thought they should have won that game it was very clear they were a better team but of course they had to walk away with uh just one point but of course they're moving on from that one and they hope to you know be better uh you know in the next fixture so that's the video guys for this moment thank you for watching as always appreciation to all of you if you're not subscribed i urge you to subscribe to the channel guys and of course uh welcome to the community Take care of yourselves today, guys. Have a lovely one.